Right, so, today you're going to wonder why you're up there and I'm down here. Well, there's a bit of an explanation for that. So today we're going to be putting a shelf, let's move this out of the way, up here. The shelf that goes above the driver's seat, the partial shelf. But there's a couple of tricky things with the partial shelf that you need to take into consideration. That is that there's a couple of bends and it steps out this end here and it bends round. So the best thing to do is buy yourself a star scriber. Get one of those. This is a specific model, it's called a star scribe. Absolutely brilliant. It's got a little wheel on the end there, which is great. Put your pencil in there, you can also swap it around so you can use this pointy bit here. It's magnificent. And with the little wheel on the star scribe, what you can do is you can run around the entire contour of the actual inner shelf and you don't need to worry about getting snags or jams or caught up on something and it bouncing off you can get a pretty accurate scribe. Also, it comes with a little mark on the end of the wheel as well. So if you want to do something really tight and close in, this is a brilliant little scriber. It really is. It's by Profiler Plus, and I think it's marvellous. But we're going to give it a go. So first of all, we're going to use a piece of cardboard which I've just cut a basic corner out of that we're just going to put in here. I'm going to cut some of the end off so it's a little bit smaller. So once we've got our cardboard up and it's level, we then take our scriber and we just basically roll around the edge, keeping the scribe completely flat to the surface of the actual headboard at all times. So when you go around the bend, you basically move the scribe so it's coming round. Don't don't go down in an angle. Make the scribe so it's sticking out towards the outside all the time. I've probably explained that all wrong, but you'll see what I mean. Keeping it pushed up against the van, the little wheel. And we have a mark. So let's take the cardboard off. Drop everything in the process. And you can see there, we've got a scribed mark all the way around the cardboard. Now, we're gonna cut this out now and see what it's like. Right, so that's the shape we've got with the first cut of the scriber. What we're going to do now is we're going to now offer that back up to the board, redo it with the scriber, and then get the perfect line going round the actual cardboard. Then what we do is we check the other end, which it should be exactly the same, measure the widest point of the actual board, and then put this template onto the ply board and then cut it out. So first of all, let's offer this up to the corner and see if it fits. So once you've got your template done, then what you've got to do is you've got to measure, measure the furthest point, which is the step in, which is just here, right the way across to the other side, which is there. Then put this template onto your ply, cover it with Veltrim, and it should go up. But test fit it first before you put the Veltrim on. Right, so I've cut the panel, it fits the size. I've put this beam across. Now one thing I've done, which not many people do, is the front beam actually cut out a section of the actual liner itself for the beam to sit in then I can get a bracket in there and fix this to the actual body of the van in my eyes in my eyes it just kind of gives it a little bit more strength on this edge yeah there's going to be a board that goes across here attached to this but it's just a little bit stronger. So what I'm doing now is I've just made some pilot holes and I'm just going to countersink every single one of these holes so we can get the screws in and take the whole thing down in one piece. Because we've countersunk them, what that means is when we take it down, we can go over them with wood filler 
let it go off, make it look all pretty, and then we can veltrim the whole shelf, and it should match in with the rest of the cab. Let's get drilling. Right, so you might wonder why I'm doing this. On the inside of the headliner, the roof curves up. So for us to fix it in, the roof's gonna curve up like this and go over. Normal people use a bench saw. We don't have a bench saw. We have a saw, a drill, and a jigsaw. And that's what we're building the van with. So, it's manual labor time. Right, so now we've put all the um, screws in, which is going to get some wood filling, go over where the screws are, so then it gives us a nice smooth base to then belt trim over the underneath of the shelf, and you don't see any of the screws. Next, we're going to give this a spray with some spray glue, give the fabric a spray, lay it flat, turn it over, and then fix it nice. Right, so what we're going to do now is, at the side where the actual headliner is, we're going to put two pieces of wood down and one on the front so we can drill through the inside and catch onto the wood at the back, basically sandwiching the headliner between two pieces of wood, which will give it the ultimate in star strength. So, you don't really need to be cut to a specific size, as long as they're the same size as the inner bits. Let's get cutting. Manual. We ain't got no fancy bench saws. Now we just gotta screw it, hold it, fix it, done. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this behind, just down there, there's a little metal step. Now, I can put this on the step and then screw through the wood on the inside, through the actual headliner, and then into this wood. And that will just brace the whole headliner to the wood and giving it a lot more stability. Stability. I've got little legs to sit underneath and push up, and then I'm going to screw. So we brace the inside through this piece onto the back and then we're going to do the same on the sides there and the same on the side there and they're going to be going through right down there there's a little lip that sticks out here and we're hopefully going to get onto that lip and then screw through into that. And there you have it, one headliner, firmly fitted in, and it only took 5 hours, 43 minutes and 2 days. That is a complete lie, that took me all of 45 minutes. And a day. Maybe a bit longer, but it's a fiddly job, but it looks good once it's done. And once you've got the face board on and the little covers, then this is strong as they come. So don't forget, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and we are converting this whole crafter van into a mobile home, which we will be going under the water in. I like it. Swim with the fishes. And the mermaids. Just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs>
Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Go subscribe.